Eggnog is a beverage made of whipped eggs, milk or cream, sugar and spices that can be mixed with alcohol such as rum for a festive cocktail. Its consumption is deeply intertwined with the holiday season from Thanksgiving through New Year's. But in the 1960s, a company called Crimco wanted to change that. Crimco wanted to convince consumers that its instant PDQ eggnog drink mix could transform eggnog from a seasonal beverage to an everyday year-round drink. Welcome everyone to The Product Graveyard, a series in which I take a look back at the products that have been discontinued and are no longer with us. And today, in honor of the holiday season, I'm taking a look back at the history of PDQ and its instant eggnog drink mix. Eggnog has a long history, with some historians tracing its origins as far back as medieval Britain, where early versions may have included curdled milk and alcohol, but no eggs. The recipe continued to evolve, and by the early 1800s in the United States, eggs, milk, and sugar were all considered key ingredients, paired with whatever alcohol was available in whichever region it was being made. For the next century or so, eggnog had two major purposes. It was used as a nutritious drink for the sick and the convalescent to gain stimulation, strength, and weight. And it was a drink for celebration, consumed at holidays and special occasions, including George Washington's birthday, the 4th of July, Easter, New Year's, and of course, Christmas. Even during this time, eggnog was particularly popular during the holiday season, with bars and taverns serving free eggnog punch on Christmas morning, much to the distress of the temperance movement, who launched an anti-eggnog campaign in Baltimore, Maryland. As the Baltimore Sun reported, there seems to be a very firm resolution among many of the best citizens, very properly, to discountenance drinking at this season of the year. But there is no doubt that much of the drunkenness which too frequently disgraces Christmas Day is due to the free liquor and eggnog of the bar rooms, in which young and old can fill themselves full enough during the early hours of the morning to keep drunk all day. While the temperance movement would get its wish on January 17, 1920, when the manufacture, transportation, and sale of alcohol officially became illegal in the United States, it wasn't until after Prohibition was repealed that eggnog returned as a winter favorite. That was until World War II meant that products like sugar and dairy faced wartime restrictions or rationing. But by the 1950s, eggnog was back and more convenient than ever. While for most of its history, eggnog had to be made from scratch, the 1950s saw an abundance of pre-made and ready-to-use eggnogs available from dairies and grocery stores throughout the holiday season. But one company decided to take this convenience one step further, Crimco. Crimco was a company that sold a chocolate-flavored milk drink for local dairies across the United States. The chocolate drink was advertised as an alternative for children who didn't like the taste of regular milk. In the early 1960s, Crimco added a new product to its line called PDQ. PDQ was tiny flavored beads that would, quote, burst into glorious nutritious goodness the instant they touch milk. These beads were made using a patented process described as agglomeration. The process was developed by Pillsbury and it took fine particles and formed them into clusters that could easily and quickly absorb liquid. According to Crimco, this meant that PDQ would dissolve quicker and better than powders or syrups already on the market. No clumps or traces at the bottom of the cup. PDQ's first flavor was chocolate, but Crimco soon added another. And while one might expect vanilla or strawberry to be PDQ's next variation, Crimco instead introduced instant eggnog flavored beads. The beads were made from sugar, lactose, egg yolk solids, spices, salt, and artificial flavoring and coloring. Incidentally, PDQ eggnog was not actually eggnog. It reportedly did not include enough eggnog to meet food regulations required to be labeled as such. Instead, it was described as an eggnog flavoring primarily for use with milk. Now, by the time that PDQ's instant flavored eggnog was introduced, pre-made refrigerated eggnog was already widely available. So why would you want to buy PDQ's version? Well, from Crimco's perspective, PDQ eggnog-flavored beads offered consumers something pre-made refrigerated eggnog couldn't. Freedom. Freedom to have eggnog as much as you like, any time you like, no matter the season. As one ad read, PDQ instant eggnog is always in season, all year long. And you could make PDQ eggnog however you'd like, with half and half, or with milk, with or without adding alcohol or as an addition to French toast, cereal, cakes, and ice cream. 
Or maybe you'd want to forego all that and just eat the beads straight from the jar. It was entirely up to consumers. Furthermore, PDQ was shelf-stable, meaning it could stay fresh in the pantry long after the holiday season had come and gone. Now, PDQ eggnog was available for several decades, though it's not clear if its campaign to make eggnog a year-round beverage ever gained much traction among consumers. But PDQ was successful enough to attract the attention of other companies, including Ovaltine, who bought the brand in 1971. A flavored additive for milk, Ovaltine had faced declining sales due to the popularity of competitor Nestle Quick. Both a new sweeter and more chocolatey formula and the help of PDQ's patented process of agglomeration, Ovaltine experienced a resurgence in the late 1970s. And while Ovaltine is still around today, PDQ isn't. It appears PDQ was discontinued by the 1990s with a 1995 advice column noting that Sandoz Nutrition, then the parent company of Ovaltine, had stopped making PDQ several years ago and had not sold the process to another company. PDQ has been gone for almost as long as it was around, but eggnog remains as popular as ever, though you'll be unlikely to find it in stores after the holiday season is over. If it was available, would you drink eggnog all year round? Thank you so much for watching! I love eggnog and it was so much fun to look into its history and PDQ's instant version. If you like this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel below. It really helps me out. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time. Happy Holidays!